Good morning, everybody. I am Isabel, and I live in this van with my boyfriend, Tom. We moved into this van two weeks ago, and we came across all the way from the UK to Spain, and we don't know where we're going, we don't know where we're heading, we've got no plans, we're on an adventure, we've left the rat race, we haven't got jobs, we've got a little bit of savings, we don't know what's on the horizon, but we do know we're going to have a lot of fun, and we're going to bring you along with us. Bum, bum. So we've just stayed at this really beautiful lakeside spot last night. So we're going to have a really nice relaxing morning. And the most exciting news of the day is that we are going to be crossing the borders to Portugal. Who knows what's going to happen next? But for now, let's have some coffee. Tom, let's go to Portugal. So we are on the road about to head to Portugal pretty exciting and yeah we just had the most beautiful day by this lovely lake 
parking spot. Uh, it had a little bar next to it, so we had a nice red wine last night. And it had really lovely clear water and also some interesting ruins that we explored. So we've got a little bit of a drive until we get to Portugal. So whilst we're driving, why don't I show you what we've been up to for the last two weeks since we arrived here in Spain. That's my sister, Rebecca, there, on the left. We invited her to join us for the first week of our adventure. This was us in Plymouth just before boarding the ferry to Santander. This might be the last time that you guys set foot on Cornish soil. Cornish We're in Devon. Land. Mm. Oh, UK land <laughs> for a very long time. Mm. How do you feel? I feel I'm very excited, but to say goodbye to my lovely friends and family. Um, excited that Rebecca's coming with us. We set sail in high spirits, unsure of the adventures that awaited us. That day we feasted on our final Cornish pasties and drank lots of beer and wine up on deck. When the evening came, we were all excited to share a little cabin together and Rebecca was especially excited about the ladders. <laughs> We're all getting ready for bed. We're all getting ready for bed. Good well, night everybody. We've what? had a lovely day on the We've ferry. The We've had a really nice time sunbathing on the deck. Watch the sunset with a lovely glass of wine and some cheese. And then we watched some entertainment and we learned a really good song about sandwiches. We watched some beautiful singing, and now we get. I just had a shower, so I'm making the most of a shower life, and we're getting cozy, 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 cozy. <laughs> we're just debating when to go up for the sunrise. <laughs> Seize the day would definitely involve. You've got a bucket. Was that my phone? <laughs> <gasps> no. I was just looking at what time the sunrise was. So Tom, can you get my phone for me, please? <laughs> we got off the ferry and drove on to Spain a little nervous about driving on the other side of the road. We decided then that we were going to head into the mountains. We have just driven up to the National Park of Ponga. It was a pretty scary climb up some very, very steep hills and we did have a little bit of a small bump on the van when we tried to do a three point turn somewhere that was way too small. But we arrived and having left down there somewhere in fog mist and it looked like it was about to rain we have climbed above the clouds and it's glorious this is where you need to be it's absolutely beautiful we've got amazing views basically 360 views we're above the clouds mountains all around and um yeah so about to do a hike probably about 13 kilometers in total and i'm pumped we might even stay here for the night and then do another hike tomorrow it's so beautiful We found the National Park of Ponga so, so beautiful that we decided to stay another night and hike some more trails the next day. Once we had our fill of the mountains, we headed on to the coast, which is where we actually had to say goodbye to Rebecca. After many days on the Galician beaches, we headed south, and this is where you'll join us today. 
So we just crossed into Portugal, it was literally just a sign, Portugal and the European flag. So here we are, I didn't even get a chance to get my camera out because it happened so fast. Uh, I can't believe it, the signs are they going to be in the language, don't understand anything. crossed into Portugal uh, and we were in this little town with all these crazy granite Herreros everywhere. Uh, it was a pretty crazy drive through the mountains. Uh, there was like really tight roads with loads of traffic coming the other way and like cows and horses just walking through the streets and stuff. It's been pretty hairy but we've got here now and we're here for the night. So we're gonna go and explore the town and we've learned just enough Portuguese to order a beer so we'll see how that goes. We've just figured out that the language is terribly hard like we've just been on Duolingo for like half an hour trying to get down the phrases and honestly this language is going to be a tough one but I'm up for the challenge good morning so we got to this town called Soaho last night and it's really sweet. It's got some lovely little cobbled streets. And um, we had a beer, our first super rock in a cafe and slept really well. And here we are the next day at Poço Negro, which apparently are some really beautiful bathing pools. So we can't wait to get in. It's super hot here. Feels like as soon as we cross the border into Portugal, we're feeling that Portuguese heat. So we've just been down at Poso Negro and uh, you've seen what we've been up to the last two weeks uh, as well as had our day uh, of what we've done yesterday arriving into Portugal. So until next week.